Let's uh, look at the Fick's law of molecular diffusion. Note that we are concerned here with the transport of uh, matter only due to molecular diffusion and not due to convection. So in a binary mixture, that means a mixture that has got two fluids, the rate of mass flux of component A is proportional to its concentration gradient. Uh, this is what was observed by Fick and then expressed as m dot A divided by A and this represents the flux of uh, component A that it's proportional to the concentration gradient dCA divided by dx. So let's see what these terms mean. m dot A is the rate of mass flow of component A and we will use the units kilograms per second. A is the cross-sectional area as square meters and CA is the concentration of the component. So that will be kilogram per cubic meters. And X is the distance or the space coordinate. So we can remove the proportionality by introducing a constant in this expression and we will use the constant D. And we will write the expression as M dot A divided by A equals minus DAB times DCA over DX where the coefficient or the constant D and we signify that as AB is the diffusion coefficient sometime also called diffusivity of A in B in other words, of component A in fluid B. And the units are meter square per second. Well, let's check out the units. Uh, on the left-hand side, for M dot A, we have kilograms per second. Uh, a is in square meters. And on the right-hand side, the diffusivity has the units meter square per second times uh, the concentration is kilograms per cubic meters and for X the units are meters. So meter square will cancel out and uh, we will have kilograms per second meter square on the right hand side uh, same as on the left hand side. Now if uh, B is a liquid then the molecules in liquid will be closer to each other. Uh, instead of if it was a gas where the molecules are separated by larger distances. So that means it will take longer time for the component A to move from region 1 to region 2. And we can see that in this schematic uh, that the uh, molecules of B are much closer to each other and uh, A has to collide with uh, a number of uh, these uh, molecules of B uh, as it finds its path uh, through the uh, uh, liquid B and uh, getting it to the other side. So uh, that conceptually tells us that the diffusivity values in liquid are smaller than in gases and also if instead of liquid we had a solid that had some porous structure, then the diffusivity in solids is even smaller than in liquids. In fact, if we look at the numbers, uh, diffusivity in a gas is about 10 raised to power 5 times greater than in a liquid. And diffusivity in liquids vary with the concentration of the diffusing component. 
just a couple of other values for you to get an appreciation of this. The diffusivity of air in ammonia, uh, the value is 0 0.198 times 10 raised to power minus 4 meters square per second. Whereas the diffusivity of ammonia in water, so a gas in a liquid, the diffusivity value is 1.64 times 10 raised to power minus 9 uh, meters square per second. Again, note that the molecular diffusion process is very slow, and uh, it is much slower in a solid compared to the movement of molecules in a gas.